Today we want to talk about the universal protocol, and it is part of patient safety. We're very committed to patient safety here at Bacchus. As we take care of our patients, we realize that it's a very complex system, and patient safety is about supporting the people who take care of patients. When I go to the airport and get on an airplane, I'm very happy to see the pilot going through the checklist. I always look at that. I want to make sure they know the gas tank is full and that all the switches are in the right position. And that's what the universal protocol is about. We need to make sure that our, we have the right patient, the patient is marked, we have verification of the process, and that we can extend this process to wherever we uh, use procedures for patients. And uh, the universal protocol is the basis for this. Healthcare is complex. We need simple things to give us a foundation to make sure patients are safe. Uh, at this hospital, at every other hospital, we recognize this. We see headlines all the time from other hospitals about wrong-sided surgery, uh, medical mistakes. Patient safety is about keeping patients literally safe from these errors. Uh, the universal protocol is, I think, the foundation in the surgical suite and in procedures throughout the hospital to make this happen. Universal protocols, these are not a Bacchus idea. It's not something that we thought up. Rather, it's something that's been endorsed by 51 healthcare organizations and associations, and it's part of the standards for the Joint Commission. Protocol, like so many things we do here at the hospital, it, um, requires a large amount of teamwork. It's going to start before the patient even steps foot here at the hospital at their initial visit with their surgeon. When they go to pre-admission testing, this process will already be in place and be followed through to the day that they come um, while they're getting the site marked all the way through their OR stay. It's going to take a lot of communication and a lot of work to make sure that each of us are doing our part and doing it correctly. So please be encouraging to each other, help each other learn the new processes, and really work together. When we work together, we accomplish amazing things and our patients benefit. It also helps us feel really proud of what we're able to accomplish here at the hospital. Trisha, can you say your full uh, name for me and your date for Okay, it's Trisha Giancola, 417-1953. And it's Dr. Tramatozzi today? That is correct. Okay, and it's spelled T-R-I-S-H-A-G-I-A-N-C-O-L-A. That is correct. Okay. And no allergies? No. Okay. And what are we doing for you today? We're doing um, uh, opening up the incision on my left leg, clean out all the cancer cells. Okay. Left calf. Okay, can you point to the site for me? Okay. Very good. I don't see no one. Y E S. Okay, I'll give you this and I'll come in with this. Could you please state your name and date of birth? Trisha Jane Bola, 417-1953. Medical record number is 358324. 25 And her digits 4834. 4834. Trisha, can you tell us what you're having done today, please? I'm having um, uh, this. Can't even talk. I'm so uh -huh. sleepy. The um, an incision on my left leg opened up more. Okay, I see that mark. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. I'm out. I'm out. Trisha Giancola, birthday 41753, wide excision malignant melanoma, left cap. Okay? Yes. Trisha, wide excision malignant melanoma, left cap. Wide excision malignant melanoma, left leg. Left leg. So there's reasons that everyone says that we make the mistakes. The reasons are that we're too busy. The reasons are that um, we got missed some information, that the communication between staff members weren't exactly where it should have been, that we were pressed for time. But we know the reasons now. So now that we know the reasons, we need to get to the solutions to those reasons. And again, the protocols are set in place to attack every one of those reasons and make it be preventable so that we don't have wrong air on any of our patients. It's very serious and every one of us needs to take this serious. Every one of us has a role in this, even the patients. Encourage the patients to be part of this. Do the steps every time. Encourage your peers to do the steps every time. It's the expectation of this organization that we give perfect care, that we do no harm, and that we correct any errors and any potential for errors. 
So do the same steps every single time because what's redundant to you is new to those patients that put their trust in you to keep them safe.